Is this the bombardier? Or a tasty parasol mushroom? Very sturdy. I notice a ring. Closely packed gills. Slightly shaggy. Some important things I'm noticing. The mushroom has a long, skinny brown stem. The gills appear to have a slight brownish pink tint. And the top of the mushroom, even where it doesn't have those scales, is more brown or tan than it is white or off-white. This mushroom has several toxic lookalikes, so it's important to do a spore print. I let these sit overnight. We want to see a cream or white colored spore print and not a green gray. It's pretty faint, but that is definitely a white spore print and not a green gray spore print. These are a fantastic edible mushroom, but they are not for beginners. These could easily be confused with a deadly Lepiota species, or the reddening Lepiota shown here that many people are sensitive to. They are often confused with the vomitor mushroom shown here that causes intense symptoms of food poisoning. Very tasty, and even better, now that I'm confident it is not a vomitor mushroom.